Hello and welcome to the ladder. Dota 2. Dota 2. Dota 2. This is Pythian. I'll be bringing you the Dota 2. Today. Right now. And it's gonna happen. It's gonna be Team Relentless Gaming against Swaglicious Gaming. Uh, last night we saw Team Relentless Gaming take the victory over Aegis nice Thieves, and maybe we'll be able to see them do sort of the same thing tonight. You know, if it's a little different, it's okay. If they lose, you know, I'll still be okay with it. They might not be, but, you know, we'll just go with it. Alright, so let's take that sound down a little bit, and let's get into Ten our draft. Running. First two bands already coming out from both teams. Die we got the Queen of Pain Die. and the Tusk band out from Relentless Gaming, and the Undying and Faceless Floyd band out from Swaglicious Gaming. And immediately we see the Gyro picked up by Relentless Gaming. That is a pretty interesting here. Received a couple of nerfs in the couple of patches post point six point eight four. But uh he's still a pretty good hero. And you see him picked up quite a few times. We'll see if he's able to have some effectiveness in this matchup. Of course this is a best of one remaining. and as far as I know this is the only match happening tonight in the ladder so it's going Five to be your only match remaining. to watch tonight at all. So we're going to get lion. into the picks from Swaglicious Gaming. They picked up a lion Radiant team pick. and uh, they'll be going for their second pickup. I'll try not to overanalyze this too much and I just kind of let the picks go because one, I don't really know too much about these teams, not too much of a a uh, subject area, I guess sample sample size is what you call it if you're all technical and Ten stuff. Seconds remaining. And um, we're just gonna Five let them remaining. let them flow, let them do their drafting. So Swaglish just picks up the lion, and then we're going time. for another hero here. I gotta say, I am loving the little kitten picture from Sacred Fire uh, from the Puss in Boots and Shrek. I mean, when you look at that kitten, you just gotta, just gotta feel for the dude. He's not having a good life and, you know, gotta say, man, I really wish his life were better. As it is, uh, his team's picked up a lion and he's gonna have to go up against that gyrocopter. So, going after an old man in a flying object. It's kind of scary, especially if the guy is old and creepy and wants to shoot me with bullets and things. Generally, I would not want to be around that dude. That being said, we're going to see what Swaglish just picks up for their second hero here to uh, compliment the lion, who happens to have yellow eyes. I never really noticed about that that about him. I mean, I know that Lion's pretty ugly, especially after the remodel, but, you know, I never really noticed his eyes. He doesn't really look like a lion. Wait, lions have the manes and stuff, and while well, this lion's Dyer going to get complimented pick. by a Wind Ranger. The Wind Ranger recently had her name changed, and by recently I mean about one and a half years ago from Windrunner. And... I think it's actually nearing to two years. That was slightly before MLG Columbus when Speed Gaming won that. So, Wind Ranger now, Wind Runner before, and she still has a skill seconds, called remaining. Wind Run. Right there. Five seconds remaining. I played against a Wind Ranger today. Didn't think we would win that game, but we Reserve did. Time. It's pretty fun. Team Relentless Gaming, they're going to be picking up their second hero to compliment, compliment that gyrocopter. Probably going to be a support hero. And we'll see what it is. Valkyrie is, of course, drafting for the dire side. However, for the Radiant, it's going to be Neverstyle picking that up. Dire so, team ban. going into this, the second banning phase here, as we saw the Earthshaker picked up by Relentless Gaming. That's a lot of setup they have couple of stuns if the Earthshaker gets his levels, and the Gyrocopter is, of course, with the early magical output of damage with the Rocket Barrage. Can do quite a bit of damage if it's not spread out among targets. So we see the Witch Doctor and the Silencer banned out from the teams. Can be annoying heroes to deal with if you don't deal with them well. And uh, other than that, I'm 
I'm getting pretty excited for this matchup. Wind Ranger can be pretty remaining. pretty good in the lane, but she definitely needs some items to get to the part of the Reserve game where she's time. effective. But if you hit those good shackles, it can be a pretty big force to be dealt with. Alright. So, uh, Ruelan's game and Minka's wait a little bit here for their next ban. That time can tend to fly off of the uh, picking timer, banning timer. Oh. It's going to be the Bristleback that comes out of this one. Radiant team ban. Sometimes it's actually harder to figure out who you want to ban in a game because there are over a hundred of heroes in that pool. And just to figure out what the other team wants to go for, what you should ban out, out of all those heroes is pretty daunting task sometimes. Ten seconds remaining. So what Swag, they're Five going to be remaining. figuring out if they're up to that task. They're going to be banning out their fourth hero here. Reserve time. Real Ellis Gaming, they can, they have pretty team fight heavy lineup at this point with the Echo Slam having the longer cooldown. The Gyrocopter Ultimate doesn't have as long as a cooldown but it can definitely help them in those team fights. Meepo Radiant gets banned up by Swag, pick. and uh, now Storm we're gonna spirit. see a Storm Spirit picked up by them. Team pick. Can be pretty dominant in that middle lane, so it looks like we're going to be seeing the Storm Spirit in the mid lane, and probably a Wind Ranger in the off lane role for Swag. Could do well against Relentless Gaming, but I do see Quite a bit of magical damage coming out in the form of the Rocket Barrage and Earthshaker stuns. And the Wyvern gets Radiant picked up by Relentless King. And that's not a hero you see generally, but it can do well against these heroes such as uh, the Storm Spirit, who may be looking towards the Lincoln Sphere in this game. Unless he gets that fast farm for the Orchid. So we'll see how that goes for him. And we'll also see... The rest of the heroes picked up by Swaglicious Gaming. Not Ten a whole lot of time remaining. on the um, picking timer left for them. They're going to have Five just 22 seconds, seconds, seconds of reserve time to get the rest of their um, picks and bans reserve done with. Time. Kind of like a chess match to this draft. I mean, you have to hit the timer at the end of every turn. You have to pick something. You have to make an action. It's pretty close to chess. Ten However, the actual game in Dota 2 occurs after the draft, after the entire Five chess game is finished. Remain. See this Wraith King picked up from Swag Gaming. Team pick. That could be uh, what I like to call an ambiguous pick. It doesn't really say a whole lot about um, what a team is going to do. But, I mean, I'm, I have a feeling it could get played in the support role in this match. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. Ten seconds remaining. And uh, we will also see what Relentless Gaming decides to pick up here. Five seconds remaining. In other news today, the uh, U.S. Reserve men's time. national soccer team actually won against Germany today, the top team in the world after the World Cup, and they won against them two-one off a couple goals. One scored by some guy on the team, and another scored by some other guy on the team. It's a pretty interesting match. A couple of good goals, and, you know, U.S. managed to come out on top of that one. So Germany didn't have all their best players playing, but it definitely did have some of the best ones there. And, you know, it's at least a pretty good win for the U.S. to take. Uh, gets their... Radiant team pick. Momentum and confidence up just a little bit. Nick's Assassin gets picked up by... RG and uh, we'll see what happens with that could be an off lane Nyx and I would imagine that's what it's going to be remaining. with the Wyvern and Earthshaker already picked up for Relentless Gaming Five seconds remaining. going into the last ban phase here as we have a pretty clear picture <sighs> of what the teams want Templar Assassin gets banned out Dire team as ban. Relentless Gaming they're probably going to be going for the mid hero <sighs> And the Draw Ranger banned Radiant out for Swag. Team pick. That could be a good pick. Enigma. But 
but instead Swag decides to go for the Enigma, so Diet it will be pick. indeed a carry Wraith King Offlane Windranger, and the last hero for Relentless Gaming, that's going to be an Invoker. So we're going to get into our match here. Radiant team. Going to be wasted on that Invoker, so we'll see. I think he played it yesterday as well, so we'll see if he's able to have that same success on him as he did yesterday. Meanwhile, we're going to be waiting for the heroes to get picked up by the players, and we'll get right into our match. That is some loud noise. Prepare for battle. All right. So before we'll do that, I will mess with the sound a little bit and introduce our teams. Here for Swag, it's going to be Never Style on the Wraith King. The Lion is going to be handled by Yellow Wolf. He's got the wings on him. Time Traveler, that's going to be the Wind Ranger player heading off towards that off lane. Storm Spirit is going to be handled by Kenobi. And the Jungle Enigma, that's going to be played by Sacred Fire. Here on our dire side, it's going to be Relentless Gaming. And they will have a Winter Wyvern played by a Skeleton with a Gun. Seems pretty dangerous. Gyrocopter with that interesting set. That's going to be played by Justerin. Invoker. It's going to be handled, as I said before, by Wasted. The Earthshake War. We played by Pat McGroin, standing in for this match. And the Neex Assassin. It's going to be played by Valkyrie, hovering a little bit over the terrain right there. So, could, looks like we could have an engagement here at the top ta top rune spot. We've got three dire heroes against what could be four radiant heroes. No, it looks like some of them are just going to back out. And the radiant are going to concede that rune. However, I don't think anybody's going to be getting the bottom rune for a while. The battle begins. And uh, the gyrocopter's going to pick up the top rune, and no one's no one's at the bottom rune. So Yellow Wolf, he's going to give his mid laner a uh, high ground observer ward, and we'll see if anybody ends up picking up that bounty rune. The uh, Enigma has denied one of the creeps in the mid lane, and he's just sending them up the lane for some reason. I'm not really sure why. He's gone back to the well to get some mana, and we definitely see the better block coming out from the Invoker. So the Eidolons, they're going to deny a couple of creeps, hopefully, for this Storm Spirit. And they're going to actually go within tower range. The Invoker won't be able to uh, hit any of them. But, yep, he's just going to see him die. A couple of heroes in the jungle. Uh, Sacred Fire is trying to get his farm on. There were no wards going down in his jungle. So he's going to have a pretty good time there. As it's right now a Nyx versus Wraith King battle in the bottom lane. Let's get our last hits up. As we see... Early win in that mid lane by the Storm Spirit. Doing pretty well up against that Invoker who has yet to get a last hit. Went for the early quaffs, so that's definitely not going to help him at all. And he picks up that cold snap. I have not really too much to say here. We're going to keep a close eye on this Nyx versus Wraith King matchup. They're both melee, but uh, it could easily get out of control for one of them if any of the supports decide to rotate. And it's just Lion pulling the creeps through in the jungle. He has yet to skill any, uh, any of the skills. And that one bounty rune, it's still there. And the Enigma's going to go over and pick it up. And he could get two runes here for his troubles. In fact, he does. It's two bounty runes. The illusion rune in that top rune spot. It's going to get handled by the Earthshaker. And there's going to be three Earthshakers on the map now. Oh, and there is a first blood that I missed as the Enigma uh, transferred over with a couple of levels that he had. And uh, they ended up killing the Nyx Assassin from Relentless Gaming. That's going to be the first blood and a lot of gold going towards the Wraith King, who uh, has a thousand gold in the bank. And we'll see what his first item ends up being. One for the interesting uh, levels into the crit. Not really sure how I feel about it, but uh, hopefully it works out for him. And 
it looks like we're going to see some early lane dominance from the Radiant side. Wraith King with 16 last hits, going pretty well against that Gyro. And the top lane, and the Storm Spirit easily winning over the Invoker, pretty much doubling him up for last hits. He's not really doing too well with those Spirits. He could be doing a lot better. Um, not really working with them as best as he can, but um, he's definitely putting the overcharge damage onto the Invoker. Who uh, hasn't gotten a bottle just yet, and he doesn't really have any path to that regen in the middle lane. Storm Spirit ranges over to the top rune, and he's going to find a regen rune. He also swag. Uh, drop down a Null Talisman as well, because I guess he knew that nobody was going to be there to contest him. Never style, nothing really happening here. Has 1700 gold in the bank, and really no contesting. This Nyx Assassin, he gave up the first blood. He's going to burn the mana off of the Wraith King, but that's about it. He still has enough mana for the Wraith Fire Blast. And, uh, Missing top. Once the next mana burn is available for the Nyx Assassin, he's probably not going to have enough mana for that anymore. So they're probably going to want to get their gank opportunity in. Wasted gets pinged out by the lion who's coming Denied. in uh, with the... Oh, he comes in with the earth spike. He has the frog available. He turns him to a fish, actually. He's going to suck off his mana. And the tornado is going to come out, canceling off that mana sucking off of the lion, as well as any uh, follow-up coming out from the storm spear, who, interestingly enough, did not pop his haste rune. Uh, perhaps that would have helped them take that kill, but nope. It's going to be... Swag. Doing pretty well in this early game. Wasted, putting a little bit of grass all over the place. He's going for the old Quas Wex build. And uh, it's one of those things that takes a little bit of farm to accomplish. And he's not really doing too well on the last hits there. Let's take a look at the mana of Neverstyle. He has the Soul Ring, so mana not really going to be a problem off of Valkyrie, who has pretty much given up on using the mana burn. Uh, I'm not really sure why, but he has level 5. So this Wraith King not really able to zone him out at all, and the easy harass comes out to the Nyx that just got his bottle off the courier. And Storm Spirit, he uh, actually killed off the Earthshaker. He was ranging towards the top rune spot. And uh, use the haste rune to take Radiant's care of that one. Tower is under so, attack. Yep. Easy level 6 and an easy kill on that Earthshaker. So Relentless Gaming not really doing too well so far in this game. Mine! <laughs> and the early Vendetta is used by the Nyx Assassin. However, he's just going to use it on a creep and the supports from... Swag have rotated over, unfortunately they decide not to move at this point, and the Wraith King says, Hey guys, do you mind if I push this lane out? Invisibility. Hey, why not? Uh, as we see, the Wraith Fire Blast going out onto the Nyx Assassin, who has the uh, Carapace available, and he does use it. However, we have the Invis uh, Earthshaker, level 2 at this point, ranging over towards the bottom lane. Perhaps he doesn't want to be there, especially with all the supports that here from the line. He has a full Invis rune to just back up, and... uh Maybe they'll get a good fissure here. Wraith Fire Blast onto Valkyrie, who is turned into a fish. He could get stunned up here. He will, and the last hit is taken by the Wraith King. And now Neverstyle taking all the damage from the tower. He doesn't have enough mana for the uh, Resurrection, but it turns out he doesn't need it. And, okay, now he uses the Soaring. He has it there, and Yellow Wolf decides that he just wants to step up and get hit by RG Wasted. In fact, he's going to step up and get killed by a Tornado. So, interesting fight here. Not really taking or taking into consideration all of the things that Dyer's they need to know, but is under easy advantage to Swag who go two for one in that bottom lane. Haven't really talked too much about Time Traveler Dyer's in the top lane. Uh, ran attack. out of mana, and they've gone for an interesting 2-1-2 build. 
Um, not really a whole lot of damage coming out of the power shot. And only 10 for 2. Maybe she sh could step up in the lane if she wanted to. Has enough mana for the wind run. And now with the gyrocopter using that rocket barrage, he could definitely take some last hits here. Now we have Valkyrie getting caught out in the jungle. Never style has the Raid Fire Blast available. And he's going to use it onto the next. There's no support here. The tornado does come out. It's going to be short on the other side of the jungle. And Komeni gets all his uh, mana taken off of that EMP. And never style decides it's time to turn back around. Even though he had another mana uh, Raid Fire Blast available. Observer Ward going to get spotted out. And unfortunately it can't get D Ward in time by the Sentry Ward. Yellow Wolf does have another one available. He decides to finagle around for a second. Trying to figure out how to switch it to a Sentry Ward. Uh, he doesn't figure it out in time, and he does put it down, and it is in range of that Observer Ward. So he was just trying to figure out where to put it so that it didn't block any of the spawns. But that being said, Wraith King, he's got the power treads and a Gloves of Haste in the uh, inventory. Or Shaker waiting in the wings here as... Wind Ranger gets chased out of the top lane by the rocket. She'll get hit by it, but that's going to be about it. Neverstyle turns around for her last hit. Are they going to do the engagement here? Level 3 on the Winter Wyvern. Not really a whole lot to get Radiant's the gank in with, but Neverstyle doesn't have its ultimate. Could be right for a gank here. Valkyrie steps up. Doesn't really know what to do. And Wraith King may know that something's up here with all the heroes missing off the map. Gonna step up here in a second. Nyx just battling a creep, and he has vision of the Earthshaker, but the Winter Wyvern has rotated off of the lane. And uh, they're, they're going to see a Bounty Rune in that top lane. Haste picked up by Quinobi. He's rotating over towards the top lane. He's going to jump onto that Jester. Nice shackle by Time Traveler, and the big ultimate is going to hit. It won't take anyone down, and as I say that, they do get quite low, but it's not going to take anyone down in that top lane. So nice rotation by the Storm Spirit with the Haste Rune taking down that gyrocopter there you go couple of words placed down as the rotates coming from the sports just a little bit late and we see Valkyrie getting caught out Quinobi is there with the overcharge and uh, they see Valkyrie over in the trees Enigma will go down in the jungle and I think that's going to be it as the Soul Ring is not up for the Stone Spirit. And he's just going to sit by and farm some creeps. So, Enigma goes down in the jungle due to the massive damage coming out from the Invoker. And sometimes you just don't plan for it. And you're not really sure um, what the potential of that is going to be. And the Myers picked up by the Wraith King. And we'll see if that gets its first use sometime. It's coming over on the Courier. So not a bad timing, perhaps with the first blood he could have done a little bit better getting it earlier, but I definitely think he needed that survivability from the power tread. So currently level 9 this early in the game is pretty good, definitely above that gyrocopter, and Wraith King gets his first usage out of the Midas as the Nyx Assassin goes into Radiant's Vendetta. He's gonna see attack. the Lion here, he could go on him, he's going to hit him and actually misses on the spikes. Wraith Fire Blast onto the Gyrocrafter. Two fights going on here at once. Tornado goes on to no Yellow Wolf. He's going to use the Earth Spike on two, and he will take him down. However, Justin on the other side, he puts the ultimate down, but it's just not enough here. As Neverstyle has enough mana for the ultimate. He's not going to get it burned off. Nice! Uh, Black Hole by the Enigma is going to take him out, and now this Wraith King, he has enough mana for the ultimate, and he actually doesn't get enough from the Soul Ring. So, interestingly enough, Soul Ring gives you 150 mana, and Reincarnation takes 160, so not really the best item anymore. And against this lineup, it's not going to do too well. So he definitely needs to plan for that uh, loss of mana. Perhaps switching to the Intelligence Treads would have helped him out a little bit there. Alright, so full bottle picked up by the Storm Spirit. And he's going to go in onto RG Wasted, who has uh, a tornado. He hasn't invoked the um, invisible walk. Finger comes out from RG Wasted, and nice shackle shot is going on the skeleton with the gun. However, Valkyrie Bad Dragon, he's trying to do as much as he can on the backside, and Wacky will take down the Storm Spirit. 
And time to travel. He's going to run away as fast as he can here. Let's see if they get Dyer's enough for any initiation onto her. And she's actually going to pick up a healing cell that was dropped by Neverstyle. She's going to hang out in the trees here. Was seen by Pat McGroin. And he's going to use a stun. Nice stun under tower by Valkyrie. And the uh, Wind Ranger gets winded. She's going to go down beneath the oh, her own tier 1 tower. So a couple of good rotations by... Uh, Relentless Dyer's Gaming, you can take a couple of kills on that bottom lane, however Neverstyle, he's just going ham on that mid tower, he's going to take it down, let's take a look at our XP and net worth graphs. It was a little bit in favor of Swag at the beginning, but now it's going back to even, and pretty much the same for net worth. Neverstyle, he sees a double damage ring, decides to run past it, Radiant's meanwhile Gyrocopter takes out the Storm Spear on the top lane, and there's just not going to be enough follow up here. Pat McGroin sees Neverstyle on the low ground, is going to fissure him out, and the double damage rune has timed out in the top rune spot. The old wolf going to TP away from the bottom lane, looks pretty dangerous for him, yes. as we see Pat McGroin picking up the bounty rune at the top rune spot. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Invisibility rune picked up by the Nyx Assassin. He's going to be looking for someone to assassinate. As the tornado comes out onto Lion, Enigma's on the backside. Doesn't have the black hole available. Does have the mechas, though. He'll get his mana burned, and Sacred Fire is going to do quite a bit of damage. However, he's going to get away with the help of his team. Nice shackle shot coming out from Time Tribe, whereas the Invoker goes down on Pat McGroin. He's just caught way out here. He doesn't have the Fissure available. He will have the Enchant Totem available in just a bit as the Storm Spirit comes through with the last you hit. Blew it. They see the Radiant Observer up on the high ground, however, they just don't have the time to deal with it right now. As Wraithing, he's going to take a couple of last hits in the jungle, working towards probably what will be a Blink Dagger. Radiant's top tower is under attack. An interesting move here by the Winter Wyvern, encasing the creep in ice that was getting fallen. hit by the tower, ensuring that it will go down to the Gyrocopter. Looks like we could have an offensive here onto the bottom Radiant's tier 1 tower, tower is under by the Radiant. Tornado Diamond is available from Wasted, and it will come out here hitting on the 2, but looks like this tower could go down into the Enigma, but never style. He's going to evade the EMP, and the Nyx Assassin is not there just yet, so we will have reincarnation for this one. Finger comes out from Yellow Wolf. He's going to take down the Earthshaker, however, the Knight's Curse is going to come out from the Winter Wyvern, and the Reincarnation is Brock Jester, and he's in a lot of trouble here. Wraithfire Blast not available just yet, as Neverstyle, he's getting low due to the Rocket Barrage. He's going to get smacked by Neverstyle, and the man fight is won by the Gyrocopter. Wind Ranger goes down as well, and Enigma, he's got to run away pretty fast to this one. As he's getting chased down by Valkyrie, and Wasted Wasted doesn't have a Tornado Invoke just yet. He could catch him out with a cold friend, cold, cold snap. Oh snap, it's a cold snap and Sacred Fire, he's going to go down once again to the Invoker. Give it not a second thought. Lots of aggression all over the map. Gyrocopter leading the last hit chart right now. And I'm going to call that a big fight for Relentless Gaming as three heroes from Swag went down. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. And Dyer's gonna stick around. They're gonna put some damage onto this tier 1 tower. And lots of towers going down, lots of heroes going down. We're 17 minutes into the game with Radiant's 21 kills on the board already. Attack. It's pretty good. Uh, Radiant structures are fortified. It's pretty good. Dyer's Scouting tornado sent out by Wasted, attack. plucking into the trees Radiant's as the tower, tower will go down attack. to the Radiant's invoker. bottom tower has fallen. Neverstyle could get aggressive onto Justerin, who has quite a bit of farm right now. Helm of the Dominator, as well as the Ogre Club picked up. So he's pretty tanky at this point, working towards that BKB. And Sacred Fire, he's a little caught out right now. Vendetta was used by the Nyx Assassin. They're looking for someone else. Fissure is going to miss, but it's going to block out Sacred Fire. Black Hole! It's used, and it's going to catch on three in the end. Time Shower doing as much damage, but could get caught out here with that low health pool. But nice Echo Slam on the two. 
is going to allow the Storm Spirit to come in the backside. Enigma goes down and Valkyrie will go down as well. Pat McCoy, he's a little caught out here. And the Storm Spirit is going to take care of him. Another Wraith Blast and he's going to go down. Wraith King got a double kill. And uh, Storm Spirit just showing up in the nick of time there to help out his team. Let's take a look at the fight recap. Gonna say advantage to Swag as they definitely took down the higher profile targets. And the old taunt used by the ogre, uh, rather the gyrocopter. As for Nobi, he got silenced up and he can't get out of this one. He's gonna get stunned up and wasted. He doesn't have the ghost walk available. So we'll see if the Wraith King is able to take care of this one. He has two seconds left on the blink. Let's see if he can go to the same spot. This invoker is running pretty fast. Uses Wraith Fire Blast. Can he take this one out? Wraith King does take down the invoker in the end. He's ending the dominating streak on that invoker. And uh, Storm Spirit goes down, but so does the invoker. So lots of people uh, dying all over the map here in Dota 2. Let's take a quick look at the word coverage for the Radiant. They see a lot of their jungle. And the Nyx Assassin goes right onto Yellow Wolf, and the burn Mana Burn will bring him down in that middle lane. And for the Dire, they get a little bit of vision of the dire radiant jungle but it's gonna be about it time trap where he's going up here he's gonna get slowed down by the winter wyvern uses a wind run though and that's gonna make pat mcgroin miss here comes the storm spear he's gonna put quite a bit of damage and the winter's curse goes on to the storm spear however nobody's really in range for his head pat mcgroin he's gonna take a lot of damage from the wind ranger and the power shot will take him down and then he comes in from the backside with a little bit of help from the storm spear gonna put the shackle shot onto the Nyx Assassin and the Nyx Assassin can't really do much, will stun two, but that's going to be two down on the Dire side. A little bit too far into the Raiding Jungle for that one. Storm Spear, he's going to pop over towards that top lane and hit a couple coups. So let's take another look at our XP and Gold Grass. Again, pretty even. Swag just... Showing that this is a pretty back back and forth game, either team can take team fights at this point, depending on how they go. Blink Dagger was bought up by the Nyx Assassin, and lots of items have come up from both teams. Let's see if we can get a look at those. Oh, hold that thought. As uh, Lion trying to do something, not enough as the Cold Snap, Orchid, and Stun Vendetta combo from the Nyx and Invoker are enough to take him down. Pat McGroin doing his share of the dewarding here as uh, the arcane boots have been dropped on the ground. Spent a little bit of a moment trying to figure out what the uh, heroes were doing there. Trying to kind of looking at each other. Hey man, how you doing? But uh, eventually they figured it out. The Nyx Assassin just trying to save on some of the mana. Wasted. He's doing a little bit of scouting. Has... Ooh, He's, but he's actually doing his scouting with the Ghost Walk under the Radiant Sentry Ward and Wasted. He's going to go down. Stun is going to miss on everyone. And uh, not really on the same page there as the Invoker was a little bit ahead. And the rest of his team was in the trees. So let's look at the net worth. Uh, Wraith King currently at the top of it with all of the kills that he's gotten with the uh, Blink Dagger. Has also picked up a Maelstrom that will help with his damage output as the Radiant set their sights towards the Roshan area. Gonna go up that high ground, not really spied out here by the Dire. Gonna go around the side. Sacred Fire picks up the Arcane Boots. And they're just kind of walking around here. The Vendetta was used by the Nyx Assassin. There is a double damage rune that will not get applied to that Vendetta. And he's just going to back up at this point. He's going to go towards the Storm Spear. Let's see if anybody is going to be able to take care of him. Storm Spear does have the Yule Scepter. Dyer's bottom tower Probably will be attack. going for a Bloodstone as well. And Justin, he's going to TP towards that bottom lane. Never style. He's doing quite a bit of damage. The Rocket Barrage was used. It does something and raced it's gonna walk right into the radiant and he's gonna go right down he gets fingered and power shooted the earth shakers here he has the urko slam available he uses it the wraith king goes down the reincarnation proc and the big 
Black Hole is going to be used, cancelled by the next Assassin, and the Enigma will go down to the last mana burn. The Wind Ranger goes down as well, and never sell. He's caught up behind the tower. Pat McGoin, he's going to get stunned down. No reincarnation available, and the Winter's Curse is going to finish off the Wraith King. Only Lion remaining alive here, and he's getting pinged out as well. It could be a full five man team wipe if they can find him, but they decide not to. They're just going to go in on that one. So, big fight for Relentless Gaming, and. You know, Swag were ready for that one, but they just didn't have the damage output to be able to finish off the heroes from Relentless Gaming. And Relentless Gaming, they're going to turn this into a push on the bottom lane. The Courier is furiously chasing the next assassin who has picked up the Dagon. And the Winter Wyvern has a Solar Crest. Interesting pickup from her. Him? I guess the dragon's a him. Even though it sounds like a woman. And... You know, it's a pretty good item on most heroes. It gives you evasion as well as giving the hero it's applied to either evasion or a mischance. And can be pretty potent in the early game. As well as the late game. As it goes through the Black King bar. Valkyrie stepping up here, going against the Neversell, who doesn't have his ultimate available. We'll get hit by the Vendetta and the stun, and the big Dagon shown by Nyx Assassin. He's going to take down the Wraith King. Tornado goes on to Wind Ranger, going to put her up into the air as they're going to Wind Ranger away. However, he can't help out the Lion there, who's going to get smacked down by the Cold Snap. And Relentless Gaming looking pretty strong here. Currently, the kill score is 23 to 18, and this bottom tier 2 tower is in Radiant's jeopardy. Is Lots of damage going on to this bottom tier 2 tower. As the Valkyrie Nyx Assassin, he's going to go towards that mid lane. Not going to hit anybody with that stun. But uh, Storm Spirit decides to come back in. Carapace was used by the Nyx. There's a Vendetta available. Storm Spirit decides that he needs to get out of there as fast as possible. He has a re regeneration rune available, and he's going to pop it as he just gets away from the next assassin, who is now out of mana. <laughs> Wasted says that was so darn good. And the Storm Spirit has found his way towards that top lane, going to farm up as much as he can with that regen rune. It will be uh, expiring in just a moment. And uh, that's a pretty aggressive rune to have if you want to go against heroes, but he uses it to farm some creeps there. And that's just one of the runes that tends to shine on the Storm Spirit. Swag trying to find their their way back into this match. 5,000 in deficit to Relentless Gaming, and about the same in terms of net worth. So they're going to have the smoke. It's going to get popped right away by Wasted. He just walks in from the side. And uh, they know that he's there. As he walked right past the line, he's going to come in from the back. Doesn't have any support here from his team. His team is actually in the jungle. And Wasted, he's going to walk out under that sentry ward. Will they take him out? Yo, Wolf, he doesn't want to pop the game just yet. But he turns him into a fish. He's going to stun him up underneath that ward. And... Wasted decides that it's time to fight. He's actually going to get shackled to a tree and figured that the last hit from the Wraith King is going to take him out there. Next Assassin chasing down a Storm Spirit in that jungle, but actually, so I decide that they just want to push that middle lane. And the Wraith King uses a big Wraith Sword to smack some creeps. Let's take a look at his items real quick. He's picked up the Mjolnir recipe, decides that he ain't need no Black King bar. And uh, we'll see if that works out for him. That's personally an item that I would try to go for in this match, even though Winter's Curse does go through BKB. But. Big blink in from the Wraith King. He hasn't stunned anybody, but he wants to go for the Wyvern, and he will take the Wyvern down. Black Hole comes in from the side. It's right onto the BK bead. Um, Justerin, however, the big Fisher hits out on three in Sacred Fire. He's going to go down. The Reincarnation not popped. And Time Traveler is, is a little caught out here. Going to run over to the side, and it's going to allow the Wraith King to get out from the other avenue. Uh, Maelstrom has been picked up, and the blink comes out from Valkyrie. We'll get many stunned by that Shackle Shot. However, the Tornado is going to throw the Wind Ranger up into the air, and the Mana Burn will take down the, the Wind Ranger. So, in the end, fight 
going in favor of Relentless Gaming. Um, shown in the fight recap, but it's a little bit more emphatic than that. Four for one. And uh, <laughs> the Invoker, not a whole lot of love coming out from him. Courier steps up. They're going towards the uh, Wraith King that was farming the Ancients, and I think they know that he was there, and Pat McGroy is looking for something. Going to put a ward up on the high ground. The Never Saw Wraith King could go down here. He's going to get caught out. Pat McGroy sees him. The Wraith Fire Blast is going to hit, and the Blink Dagger could take him down. Totem will do some damage here. Never Saw, he is actually trapped in the trees. Yellow Wolf is here. Pat McGroy TPs out. He's going to get away. He's going to go back to the base. And the Roshan quickly getting hit by the Gyrocopter and Wasted doing his bit to help him out. And also the Solar Crest debuff was placed on poor old Roshan as well. Alright, Tornado thrown out by the Invoker is actually going to hit on two and a couple of creeps. And Lion says, thank you, man. I'll just hit these creeps myself. Wasted uses a ghost walk to go scout a little bit. He's actually going to see an illusion of the storm spirit who gets slowed down and fissured up by the earth shaker let's see if they can take this guy out earth shaker we'll see if he's able to do some damage to him he's actually chasing him around i think he knows that it's an illusion at this point and he decides to just stop with that pursuit so uh smartly done by him puts the fear into the eyes of that storm spirit let's take a look at our items justerin picked up the Agency of the Immortal and is working towards that butterfly. Could have it in just a few moments. And the Bloodstone was indeed picked up by the Storm Spirit. And two Maelstroms. One for the Wind Ranger, one for the Wraith King. So sustained so damage output is definitely a problem here for Relentless Gaming if they can't take the heroes down. But it's not really been a problem with them as their magical damage has been pretty massive in these fights with the Earthshaker and the Gyrocopter as well. Justin just kind of sitting here in the mid lane, gonna get stunned out by the Enigma. We all love walking up. Big Fisher is gonna hit on two, and the Tornado will throw the Wraith King up into the air. And uh, on the backside, Valkyrie, he's gonna get caught out. Storm Spirit, he's gonna pop right onto him. Pat McGrun, he's got the Enchant Totem available, and Storm Spirit, he's gonna yule himself up into the air to avoid that EMP, but he's not going to avoid the Gyrocopter call down, and the Winner's Curse is gonna be used on him to take him down. And RG, they're pretty primed for their push on this mid lane tier 3 tower. Uh, not a whole lot used on that. And Echo Salami still available, even though this Earthshaker, he's still not got a Blink Dagger. Time Traveler, he's low on mana. And he's probably going to need to kind of let this happen as the uh, Flat Cannon is going out on the Yellow Wolf. He's taking him quite low, and the Mana Burn will finish off the Lion. As Justin, he's caught out here. The Agents is going to get procced by the Storm Spirit that zip zaps in. And the EMP is going to be placed down to avoid any further contact onto the Gyrocopter. Here comes Neverstyle with a stun into the back of Justin, and he's trying to get away, and in fact, he will. And no heroes lost for Relentless Gaming. And I'm not sure if there was a buyback there by the Storm Spirit. He still has quite a bit of gold. And he didn't have the debuff, so I'm thinking that this Storm Spirit just respawns so fast due to the Bloodstone. Wraith King, he's going to get caught out by the Tornado here, but there's no follow-up right now as Reincarnation is still available. Just a lot of harassing Wraith, Wraith Fire Blasts are going to get used here as Valkyrie, he's going to hide beneath the earth and <laughs> put out a couple stuns here in the mid lane. Never style. He's going to put a stun on to Justin. Big Fissure on the Sacred Fire. He's going to get his mana burned up. But Pat McGroin, he's probably going to get a lot of damage from... Oh, big Echo Slam from Pat McGroin. He's still alive. He's still alive in this one. And big Earth Spike comes out on the two. Justin and Wasted. Justin, he's going to turn around. Use the BKB. He's going to use the... Uh... Oh, he's getting his HP regen. That's Valkyrie. He's going to give him a couple of stuns. 
Reincarnation is popped, and Storm Spirit zips us back in. He's going to go on to the Gyrocopter. Close match here as the Storm Spirit, he's going to hide up in the air. The Gyrocopter goes down a couple buybacks on both sides. Never saw. He's going to get specked around by a missile. However, the Skeleton with a gun, he actually not going to have a gun anymore. As he's going to get fingered up by the lion, and Nyx Assassin, he's a little caught out here. He's going to get dusted up, stunned up, smacked up, wrecked up, and uh, deaded up. So in the end, swag, showing they still have some life in them as they take out four heroes of Relentless Gaming, albeit with quite a few buybacks. Wow. That was fun. Let's take a look at the Storm Spirit. Alright, let's not take a look at that Storm Spirit. <laughs> Wraith King, he's actually just finishing the Mjolnir now as he's listened to me and picked up a Black King bar. I guess we've got some stream sniping going on. As he's going to swagger towards the creeps in the mid lane. And uh, in terms of towers, two remaining for the Dire, one remaining for the Radiant. As this Earthshaker, he's in a lot of trouble. He's gonna get stunned up, shackled up, and he's gonna get sliced right up the middle by Neversal, who is now dominating. And it looks like they wanna be mounting an offensive on that bottom tier 2 tower. And indeed, that is what they will be doing. As Neverstyle quickly takes care of those creeps in the bottom lane. Valkyrie, he's got the Vendetta available. He could be looking for someone. They haven't gotten any Sentry Wars down. They put one on the high ground. Will they catch him out? The Wind Ranger catches a glimpse of him there. Could throw out the Shackle Shot. In fact, he does. Valkyrie gets turned into a fish. He's going to get Earth Spiked up, and he's going to get killed. However, on the backside, Neverstyle, he's got the BKP popped. Enigma's going to go down. There's going to be no black hole for this one. Pat McGroin, he's also got... He's not going to Echo Swim as Neverstyle decides to hit his friend Winter's Curse, allowing him to do that. And Neverstyle, he's going down pretty quickly. He has the Reincarnation available. He does, decides to use it. And will he get the Blink away? It is a no. Neverstyle, not able to get the Blink away. And he's going to go down. He's not very happy with that one as his Storm Spirit decides to leave him alone there. And it's a two for one in favor of Relentless Gaming. Lots of ultimates pop there. However, the... Uh, Invoker ultimate, it's only got a 15 second cooldown at this point. So he's doing pretty well, and Relentless Gaming, they're going to push down that bottom lane, see if they can take yet another tower here, and break the base. Wraith King is at the top of the net worth chart, has the buyback available. He's doing pretty well, but he just requires a little bit more farm. Uh, probably going to need to pick up a Monkey King bar as well. As a Gyrocopter. Fly in the friendly skies, or at this point, probably the unfriendly skies, as he's in the Radiant Jungle. And he's going to range towards the uh, creeps. He's going to gank up those creeps pretty well. Big Centaur goes down. Little Centaur, he's in jeopardy. In fact, he's going to go down as well. And the Wasted picks up that invisibility, invisibility rune. Roshan, it's going to be a pretty long respawn here. Probably going to go for the full three minutes. Oh, nope, just kidding. It's going to be one, 120. So Valkyrie playing around with the Burrow. He's going to go invisible into the Vendetta. Has quite a bit of mana regen for this one. So he can do it. He's going around. Invoker is following him around as well. The smoke gets popped. Out of view of the Radiant. They don't have their Gyrocopter with them. Perhaps this is not the best move. And he's not going to be there anytime soon. The Radiant have the counter smoke. They're going up towards their Ancients. Could get popped pretty soon. Let's see how fast this Earthshaker is. Has the Blink Dagger available. He gets a smoke pop and they're going to go right in. Never style. He's going to go in. Echo Slam gets popped. And the Wraith Fire Blast is going to take care of Pat McBurn. However, Neverstyle, he's going to get a meatball to the face. As the, 
Uh, Wyvern is just sitting on that high ground, gonna force staff down, and Storm Spirit says the best place for me right now is on the high ground. He's going to go down, pick up an. I was just kidding, he's not gonna pick up the regen rune. He's actually going to let his friend Neversell pick it up. At least I'm sure that's what happened there. I mean, there's no reason that Storm Spirit would want that rune at all. Right? So the Earthshaker went down, and there could be more here. As the Dire have no vision of this, they're going to see the Forge Spirits coming around. Neversell decides that he wants to hit some creeps, and could this be what they want? Valkyrie, he's underground. He's going to hit a stun on the two. Big call down coming out from the Gyrocopter. Huge damage, and the buckle was gets used only on one. Justin's going to get hit by that Finger of Death. Guanobi's going to hit him as well. Yellow Wolf uses the Finger, and uh, the Reincarnation is going to get popped. Um... Blink away by Neverstyle. He's going to get hit up by Valkyrie. And Neverstyle now tops that BKB. He's going to stun up Valkyrie. But Neverstyle, he's in a lot of trouble here. He has that homing missile now applied to him. And the tornado will catch him out. Big damage from that rocket barrage. And Neverstyle, he's soon to go down. Indeed he does. It's a 4 for 1 in that jungle. Perhaps a little bit aggressive. They did get the kill onto the Earthshaker. But uh, that's about it. And... Uh, Gyrocopter decides there are better places to be. My team's got this one. And the Relentless Gaming team, they're going to be hitting up that top tier 2 tower with the creeps, taking away that backdoor protection. Easy tower for them. And Gyrocopter quickly making his way towards them again in that top lane. Storm Spirit zip zaps in and out. Zip zap, zip zap. And Justin, he's hitting pretty fast with the Mantis Tower and Butterfly picked up. That's a lot of agility and quite a bit of damage to be spread out with the flat cannon. Haste. Yellow Wolf, he's sucking off that creep. He's already got full mana, and Valkyrie looking for anything that he can do in that mid lane. He's going to use the Vendetta on that creep and. Also use the Dagon to take out that big troll guy. And Pat McGroin, he's sitting out on top of the high ground. And Storm Spirit says, okay, dude, I'll take that. And easy kill there for the Storm Spirit. Mercy was had this day by the Earthshaker. Valkyrie, he's around here. He's going to stun up some, some of those creeps. As the counter push comes out. And GG called by Storm Spirit. I don't know if that was real or not. And the dire Well, I guess that was wrong. And uh, Gyrocopter is going to take care of that Roshan with the help of the Solar Crest from the Winter Wyvern. So Justin's got another Aegis, and uh, never sell. he could get caught out here. He has a blink available, he will blink away, just evading that Nyx Assassin. And maybe a little bit too much on the gun there. Dagon will get used, Mana Burn was used as well. Tornado comes out, and... Uh, Valkyrie is going to get to get dusted up, and uh, he's going to get four staff forward. Of course, of course, you four staff him forward, and he's going to actually be taking some damage from the Enigma, but he's got that extra uh, health and mana regen while in the burrowed form. <laughs> he's just going to stun up those creeps, loving it. Valkyrie live in the dream here on the Nyx Assassin, so they've got the Sentry Ward to give him vision of that, and of course, someone just gets got to TP away. Winter's Curse not going to be available for this fight, as it's probably going to be a slow siege on the bottom. Wasted, he's going to get stunned up by the Wraith Fire Blast, and he's going to take all the damage. So what never style, he does go down, and he's actually not got the mana for the Reincarnation at that point. So nice black hole on the two, Justin getting quite low, he's got the Agents available. He's just going to go down as Valkyrie, he's just sitting in the carapace. And last auto attack, not going to go down from the sh catapult. And uh, 
Never sell decides it's not time to go in right now onto that gyrocopter. Dyer's top tower is under attack. And next, he gets above ground. He's quickly going to get taken care of. Um, nice spike carapace is going to give him a little bit of an excess, exit, and he's going to use the vendetta to get out of there as fast as he can. So life shown by Swag here as they take a little bit of a fight. They stave off the, the Dyer for a couple more moments. Just really refusing to give in here. Let's take a look at the vision on the map. Um, mostly around their base for the Radiant, a little bit of the jungle, and there's quite a bit for Relentless Gaming, but none in the Radiant base. Never Style says, fuck that noise. Part of my language. <laughs> Takes care of that TP scroll. Ain't nobody got time for that. And never sell using that Mjolnir to uh, quickly work through those creeps. I'm thinking he should probably take care of that Soul Ring pretty soon. He's not really working out for him as he didn't have enough mana for that reincarnation in the last fight. And I fear that's just going to keep happening again and again. Wasted. He's doing the scouting mission with the Ghost Walk. He's trying to find someone to hit. He's going to see... Never sell, but he's also going to go right under. Alright, he sees the Enigma, puts him up in the air with the Tornado, going to use the Orchid to do quite a bit of damage onto Wasted and the big Dagon from Valkyrie. He's going to take him down. Wraith Fire Blast goes on to Bad Dragon, uh, the Nyx Assassin rather, and he will go down. Stun locked all over the place, and the smoke to get away. It's going to happen. So, once again, Swag delaying the push into the base from the Dire, who I would like to see a little bit more teamwork for, from them. For some reason, none of them are at their pushes at the same time, and I think the best way for them to take the base down is to really push it as a team. And if you keep going for these pickoffs and dying, it's probably not going to work out. So eventually, this Invoker is going to get to the level 25 Dream. As wasted, he's gonna catch out Yellow Wolf here. And you also see the Storm Spirit, and Storm Spirit, he's gonna catch out Wasted. Wasted turned into a fish, fingered up, shackled to a tree, and he's gonna made it dead by the zip zapping Storm Spirit. He was now dominating, and that's a lot of life <laughs> from the Radiant. And unless this gyrocopter is able to get the big, big items up, maybe one more damage item, or maybe they just need a good fight uh, to take over that base. Never saw working towards a Monkey King bar. Storm Spirit comes across, not gonna find anyone as the skeleton a gun with a gun quickly out of there. Sacred Fire and Chime Traveler smoked up here. They could find someone in the jungle. Gyrocopter is potentially in a bit of trouble. And the Nyx Assassin, he's using the Vendetta, gonna scout ahead a little bit. Lots of pings going out. Uh, Yellow Wolf, he's still smoked up, not gonna get a pop. Does get a pop just now, and the Nyx Assassin, does he see what he wants? He does not, and he's actually gonna back away here. Or will he? Uh, Storm Spirit is zip-zapping over to that mid lane. Uh, so Earthshaker, he's just hanging out on top of the cliff. And now has the Blink Dagger, can get away. Interesting story with the levels here. Only level 14 at this point. Big Tornado is going to hit a couple of creeps by the Invoker. And uh, someone popped a BKB. That was the Storm Spirit BKB. Sometimes you got to be scared of the uh, rune as Never Style. It's going to get a rocket chasing him. RNG could commit here. Let's see if it happens. Storm Spirit nowhere near this. As Never Style, he's still getting chased, and the lion could be the sacrifice here to help out his team. Shackle Shot does hit onto the Nyx Assassin, but oh my god, look at that damage from Justerin. Uh, Wind Run not available, and Time Traveler goes down. They don't have creeps on their side right now, but do they need them? Gyrocopter, he's gonna go up onto the high ground and take a couple of hits from that 
tower, but look at this. Storm Spear, he's on the other side of the map. He's got their creeps, and I don't think he's going to bring them back. And no TP's canceled here from the uh, Radiant. And they're just going to push the other wings, I guess. Not really working with the creeps the best there, and really need to be more cognizant of where the waves were. Storm Spirit Zipsaps on the Wasted, who does have the Ghost Walk available. Fisher is going to help his friend to get away. Quinobi, he says, okay, man, I'll go for you. And the, another BKB is going to get used by the Storm Spirit pretty soon. He's not going to have them at all. But Earthshaker does go down in that mid lane. And it's probably better for the Relentless Gaming that the Invoker did not go down there. And let's take a look at the fight recap. Couple of abilities used. And a couple of gold went to the teams. Gyrocopter far and above the leader on this net worth chart. As the Storm Spear and the Wraith King follow. Invoker, not a whole lot of farm here. Not really doing too well in that respect. But the Storm Spirit, he's sitting on some pretty good farm. Doesn't have buyback right now, though. Needs quite a bit more gold for that. Nyx Assassin trying to look for a gank here. They don't have any vision of him. And they could catch out the Enigma. He decides to blink up, misses a stun. Good shackle shot on the one. Sacred Fire could take the fall here, but Wasted is turned into a fish. And four staffs all around. Wasted could still go here. Has the tornado available, uses the ghost walk. And the Nyx is close in tow. Nice sentry ward placed down, but Sacred Fire, he's going to get hit by that Dagon, and the mana burn will go on to Time Traveler, and you know, that's going to be two down in the jungle. Swag really losing things they shouldn't be losing right now. Getting caught out, going a little bit too far up, and you know, you're getting a little bit closer to that level 25 Invoker Dream. Yellow Wolf, he's going to get caught out by the Nyx here. He turns around, going to smack him with those claws. The stun will hit. And the big mana burn and uh, doesn't even need the Dagon. But Valkyrie, he could take it here. He's going to go pretty close to right down. In fact, he does never style. He uses the BKB. Going to get a lot of damage. Oh my god, look at that big ass crit from never style. He takes that Earthshaker right down. And, you know, what do you know? It's a one for two. Uh, quickly evening the sides here. So we see a lot of engagements around the map. And no bases have been breached. And the Forge Spirits continue their march into the radi Radiant Base. Couple of lines being drawn on the map. And uh, the Invoker, he's going to increase his attack speed a little bit. Tornado will miss on the Storm Spirit. And uh, they could push up into that base here. He's doing quite a bit of damage. And I guess he's working towards that site device. Let's take a look at our items right now. Uh, notables. This Wind Ranger really doesn't have too much. Um, MKB picked up by Never Style. And Satanic Butterfly Mantis Style BKB is held by the Gyrocopter. Not really a whole lot of changes in terms of items. Um, the teams haven't been really great about farming right now as the gyrocopter picks up an MKB of his own. Big blink by the Earthshaker into the tree is going to do absolutely nothing, but I thought it was worth mentioning. And uh, he's just going to walk around for a moment. The gem is held by the Winter Wyvern. Maybe that's not the best thing to have, but it does help them with the... Um, all of the heroes on swag that can go invisible, aka nobody. And uh, he's just going to get some farm here. As the next scouts out the Roshan. So this is going to be Aegis and she's available for Relentless Gaming. As Valkyrie, he's going to go burrow onto the high ground as Roshan, he's a pig now. And he's going to get cold snapped up by the Invoker. He's going to get smacked around a little bit. And Roshan, look at man. Look at him. Just not having the best of days right now. And he's getting attacked by dragons. Guy with big shoulders and things in the ground. And, you know, sometimes you just, just got to really feel for the guy. That was really loud. 
Alright, so Roshan, he's gonna go down. The cheese was dropped. Gyrocopter picks up the Aegis, and the cheese is held by the Invoker. And Radiant, they smoke towards the dire jungle, and that's gonna be about all they get. A Midas usage by the Wraith King, and this could be the base going down for Swag. Look at that net worth on the Gyrocopter 30,000. And I guess it makes sense this late in the game. I mean, you kind of expect your Gyrocopter to have that much farm. He definitely has enough for the buyback. And he's gone bootless right now. Dyer's top tower is under but attack. with that Mantis out and Butterfly, he really doesn't have Dyer's to worry about the speed too much. Fallen. I guess as the top tier 2 tower for the Dyer does go down. So that's going to be what they're going to get for this. And now they got to defend their base. Could be an interesting base defense. This Enigma hasn't got a Blink Dagger. And he hasn't really gotten the best of black holes out either. Nice shackle shot on the Justerin by the Wind Ranger. But they're just gonna turn right on the Neverstyle, take him way down with that reincarnation. Justerin, he's gonna get um encased into ice as wasted goes down. The gyrocopter goes down. Big echo slam on the sh the uh Storm Spirit, but you know the invoker isn't even there. Big damage from that call down from Justrin, and the buyback is used by Wraith King and Justrin. He just uses that big flat cannon to get an ultra kill, and I don't think there's too much that the dire the rating can do here. Uh, they're backing up with those buybacks, but well, you know the top tier three tower did go down, so I guess. Whoa, okay, the Wyvern got caught out, and you know ba Valkyrie's not in great shape anyway. He's actually going to get above ground now. Gonna get Shackle shot up. The uh, Spike Carapace will do some damage here. Quinobi, he's quite low. Actually, he's gonna go down. The Nyx Assassin takes out the Storm Spirit before dying himself. But I think the damage has been done. Two Tier 3 Towers going down for both teams. And now we just go for that creep on creep action. Not the best fight recap to take a look at. But, you know, needless to say, deaths on both sides. Buybacks expended by Swag. And uh, towers flying all over the place. That was a pretty valuable buyback by Neverstyle as the gy when the gyrocopter backs up, which he probably didn't even need to do right there. Uh, there's really nothing to help his team out. <laughs> Nyx just kind of sat there for way too long and Wyvern TP'd in the wrong place. Interestingly enough, we haven't really seen too much stacking of the Ancients going on. This Wind Ranger working towards an MKB of her own. As Wraith King, he's picked up a Basher. Storm Spirit, he's got quite a few Bloodstone charges. 12 at this point and 5,200 gold in the bank. That is pretty hefty. Wasted didn't use the cheese there. And Earthshaker again, standing up on the cliff. Blinks down now. As Storm Spirit going all over the place, he's gonna see the Invoker. Fitcher gonna cash him out. He's gonna get turned into a pig, silent stuff. He's gonna get hit. a lot of his mana, uh, won't be burned from that EMP, and he's going to be able to get away just now. Zip zapping away. Fifty seven minutes into this game, and the base only just been broken for both sides just now. Just, 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 just. And interesting pickup. Lotus Orb is going to be available from the Nyx Assassin, who is 19, 8, and 22, having a pretty good game out of that offlane. And level 25 Dream getting even closer for the Invoker, almost level 24 at this point. In other news, my stream has not dropped any frames. Yay, me. Or more accurately, yay my computer. So taking a look at these creeps, no items in their inventory. As Nyx Assassin, he's invisible, going towards that mid lane. The Wind Ranger, he's going to back right up. Also has that gem available. And this Nyx, he's in a lot of trouble. He's just my carapace, he's going to hit on two. And it's going to prolong him getting out of here. Storm Spirit comes in from the side, has that pull in available. Fisher, nice. It's on the one. And the Tornado will catch out the Storm Spirit. Never style, he's got the... 
He's got the blink stun available. Get will get used, but the uh, boost of travel in will occur, as the stun really doesn't stop that from happening. Nyx Assassin goes down, and Swag says, "Okay, time to farm." And we see Storm Spear also has the Monkey King bar. And lots of mana regen. 49.1 per second. That's pretty good. I would say maybe he gets rid of that Yule Scepter for another item. But uh, until then, he's 6 slotted. Has the buyback available, so. You know, these next fights. Base defense could get a little bit iffy, but. I think it's going to be okay for Swag. As you have potentially a Storm Spirit coming back very quickly due to that Bloodstone, and then a buyback available as well. So three live Storm Spirit going up the up against the Aegis list. Gyrocopter has now picked up a data list. That's a lot of damage that could be coming out. And also has those boots of travel. So six slot of gyrocopter has the buyback available. As well as quite a bit of gold in surplus. As we're getting even closer to the level 25 Invoker. Invoker gonna head over towards the Storm Spirit. Has the Scythe of Ice available. And he could use it here. Also, he's gonna turn him into a pig. That's quite a big pig. Uh, Storm Spirit, one of those portly fells. Nice. Um, boots of travel in. As a Storm Spirit a little bit caught out, and it's going to get ganked up by Relentless Gaming. So that's a pretty big kill for them, and 40 seconds on the sideline for the Storm Spirit. And Wasted, he's going to look for his next target. Has a Ghost Walk available in 3. And Swag say it's time to get a... Get a bit of a head start on ending this thing. They're going to go towards that bottom lane. And, uh, well, this Gyrocopter got caught out. He actually got a Beyond Godlike streak taken down. And this is this is just the story of this game. Uh, RG not sticking together and wanting to go somewhere else. Never style. He's decided it's time to go ham. And he's going to pop that BKB, go right up on top of the hill. Lotus Orb was used on Wasted. And the Fissure from the side will keep the... Uh, Radiant away from this one. Pat McGroin, he's not going to make it out, and he's going to pay for that big fissure from coming in from the side. So, two going down uh, with the Gyro and the Earthshaker both getting caught out. And, you know, like I said, it's just not what Relentless Gaming needs at this point. They really need to be coordinated in taking this game to the end, and, you know, they haven't done that. They could have had this game probably about 20 minutes ago, but they decided to split push farm, and at that point it just wasn't the answer, and Swagger punishing them for it at the moment. And Never Salad just getting even more tankier, picking up that Abyssal Blade. Doesn't have buyback right now, but perhaps he doesn't think he needs it with that reincarnation. And they're going to follow their creeps up to the high ground. Buyback is available from the Gyrocopter, but this middle tier 3 tower is pretty low. Power Shot just misses the creeps. And stun from the Nyx Assassin, not going to hit on anybody. They're going to try to do their spam to keep them out of the base, but it's just not going to work. Big damage coming out from Neverstyle. They're going to start hitting the ranged racks. And level 25 Invoker Dream is there. And BKB pop, they're going to go right for that middle racks. And, you know, they're taking the racks, but perhaps this is not what they should be going to. Big Echo Slam on the two. And Neverstyle says, okay, man, I'll just turn around. His man is all gone. He's actually going to get smacked. His reincarnation is not there. And Black Hole on to two. That's going to secure the death of the Enigma, but the Range Rags does go down. Storm Spirit, he is elsewhere as Time Traveler uses the Wind Run, trying to get out of here, going to hit by all the magical damage, and the gem will go down. Four for one in that top lane. Stupendous. But the Storm Spirit stays alive, and all but the Wraith King have the buyback available. So 100 seconds on the sidelines for the Wraith King and Wasted. He's going to try to find out the Storm Spirit here. Let's we'll see if he's able to do it. He's going to go back. Storm Spirit working around in that shop. And that's probably one of the most 
vulnerable times you have for certain players. He's going to zip zap into the trees and TP out. Picking up the Mystic Staff uh, could be for a Shiva's guard. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. And buyback comes in from the Wind Ranger as Justin. He's going to use the BKB and zips up around trying to hit Justin. But uh, that's probably not the best thing. And Time Traveler, he could get caught out here. He's going to get his mana burned and turned into a pig. Silenced up and he's going to be made dead. So that's a big buyback down for the Radiant. And this could be the base going down as well. One set of racks in jeopardy. As the Wraith King, he's got, still got another 50 seconds on the sidelines. Black Hole is down. And the middle racks. They're set to go down. Blink stun comes out onto Chester, and he's not got... He still has some things available. Satanic in 10 seconds. BKB is there. And the mana burn goes on to Storm Spear. He can't really do anything here. Couple of stuns, couple of fishes going out onto the Nyx Assassin as Justin is going to get healed up by the Winter Wyvern. And this could be a a lot of buildings in the base going down, especially if the Wraith King is not able to do his job. Hex goes out onto Justin, he's gonna get stunned up. Fisher goes onto Lion, and he's gonna get put up into the air. The uh, Deafening Blast is going to miss, and Yellow Wolf, he's in trouble. He's gonna go down. Wasted is dominating. And never style. He's alive now, but not before the tier 3 in the top lane go down. Uh, interesting dust used by Sacred Fire. It's not really what they need right there. So he's not going to catch anybody out. And the Storm Spirit is going to catch creeps. 10 charge Bloodstone available. And, you know, just both teams afraid to end this game right now. 38,000 net worth gyrocopter. Another Roshan is available. Burrowed Nyx Assassin with a double damage drain. Check out that. How's that immersion? <laughs> Never seen that before. Alright, decides to help his team out. Pat McGroin gonna get quite low to the AoE damage coming out from Roshan. Roshan, of course, not very happy about having to die all these times. But, uh, go down he does indeed do. And the cheese is dropped, gonna get picked up by someone, gonna get picked up by the Earthshaker. And Invoker, he's actually dropped his cheese, I don't really know where he put that. I don't know where he put that. So that's a pretty big creep wave going towards the base for the Dire. It's gonna get quickly taken care of by the Storm Spirit, who has indeed picked up the Shiva's Guard. So lots of net worth on both sides, and at this point, it's just who has the better team fights. Who can take those set pieces better. One racks down for both teams, and no tier 3 towers remaining for the Radiant. So, Relentless Gaming's path to victory a little bit easier than Swag's, but both teams definitely still have a chance here, depending on how the fights go. Relentless Gaming pretty well grouped up here. Wasted's gonna use the Ghost Walk, gonna go up ahead. As Valkyrie uses the. uses the uh, Vendetta to get close and personal to that base. But they push the creeps in, and now they can go for Rex. Storm Spear jumps in onto the Earthshaker, he gets turned into a pig. Fisher won't hit him. And nice BKB usage goes on to Pat McGrain. However, on the backside, Yellow Wolf, he's gonna get smacked down by Neverstop. Good Warriors guard, big. Three man black hole and Kuonobi, he's doing all the damage right now. Pat McGrain is gonna get finished off by the Storm Spirit and um, wasted. He's in trouble here. He's gonna use that big Black King bar and the meatball gets thrown down onto all the heroes. They're gonna try to walk through the ice wall, but Valkyrie, he's going to get smacked around here and definitely blast. Not gonna hit on anybody and the refresher definitely blast will hit now. The meatball comes out. Yellow Wolf, he's going to get quite low, will go down, and the Wind Ranger goes down as well. Wasted, he's getting smacked around. Valkyrie, he's a little bit far up this time. Blink up, blink away, and Valkyrie 
uses another stun. He's probably going to get away here. Big team fight taken by Swag and Valkyrie. He's going to get the Aegis popped. And the Vortex is available from Storm Spirit. Let's see if they're able to use it. He does use it fast enough. Has that Blink Dagger available, but now it's going to get cancelled once again. And the next assassin is going to complete that full five-man team might buy back it used immediately and Earthshaker is going to use it as well. You really want to make sure that these two don't go down but Earthshaker has the Echo Slam available and now all the buybacks come out from Relentless Gaming and that's going to signal to Storm Spirit it's time to get out. It's going to be a retreat from Swag and again Swag hold and now the buybacks are down from Relentless Gaming so next team fight is probably going to be the deciding factor if it comes in the next five minutes. Five to seven minutes. Wow. Um, you know what we haven't done for a while? Let's take a look at XP and gold. 15,000 in favor of Relentless Game for XP, and sharply down for net worth in closer towards that zero mark for Swag Gaming. So taking a look at the Heroes in the Fallon, just healing up a little bit. Swag on the Wraith King, Swag on the Enigma, swagging all over the place, and may as well take a look at their courier, Swaggin' or Baby Roshan. Interesting on this team, you've got the big wyvern and the little wyvern flying all over the place. Interesting that fight, even with the Aegis and Cheese. <laughs> Wraith King about. Oh, alright, he does take care of that dust. And Storm Spirit is now at the top of the net worth chart. I don't really see any places for these, these heroes to go. And Enigma is going to pause the game. 70 minutes. And we have a pause. <sighs> Interesting match so far. And it looks like the players are going to be ready to get going in just a moment here. I'm going to get some gum because my mouth is getting a little bit dry. Enigma was apparently lagging. Kinda hard to look at net worth right now. Probably more important to look at buyback status. We'll go back to net worth. How about fantasy points? Do we have that? Hells yeah we do. <laughs> look at that. Next assassin, 25.5. That is pretty darn high. What kind of items does he have? Hasn't really upgraded his Dagon at all. He's picked up a void stone. Not really sure what he intends to build with that. Let's see what he intends to build with that. Get a Battle Fury. Get a Scythe of Vice. In any case, he's not got a buyback. So, quite an interesting game today. And it looks like the players are ready to go. It looks like, it looks like, it looks like. I bet you're tired of hearing that. Swag hanging out on the high ground, doing a little bit of dance here with the lion. Storm Spirit unfortunately electing not to engage with the dancing of his team. And there's another BKB popped by Sacred Fire. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on with this guy. And you know what? Who can? He's a bit of an enigma if you catch my drift. Eh. Eh. Alright, bad jokes aside. We're going to check out some more of this match. Where's the body? And, uh, Divine Rapier. That's a Divine Rapier on Gyrocopter. He's not got a BKB, so he can get stunned up here with no way to take care of it. Also has some Moon Shard buff, so his attack speed is pretty high. 
let's see if that is what is going to be able to take down um, Swag in this match. So we're definitely into the late game here. And Gyrocopter has been surpassed by two heroes on the Radiant in terms of net worth. Let's take a look at this Wraith King's items. He's got some items. So we've got the level 25 Refresher Orb Dream. No Aghanim Scepter for this Invoker, unfortunately. But it's pretty good. I'm pretty sure the only thing that really can be done here is this Wind Ranger could eventually finish up her Monkey King bar. But other than that, there's not really too much uh, either side can do to bolster their items. So, Creep Wave pushes in the bottom lane. And if RG can take this next team fight, they can win the game. But, you know, the, the position of the other lanes on the map, same goes for the other side. If Swag take this fight, they can easily break through the base. As we take a look at the buyback status, most heroes for the Dire, except for the Invoker, they're all down for another 3 minutes. Used pretty late at the end of the last fight. So if Swag holds here and they take out a bunch of heroes from Relentless Gaming, that's going to be Swag winning the game. So, a couple of key buybacks available for... The Radiant Storm Spirit. He's bringing the lane all the way up to the uh, base, but uh, it doesn't really matter right now. Swag, he's gonna go right on to the Jester, and he doesn't have a BKB available. And the Black Hole is there. It's gonna get canceled immediately. And the Echo Slime is going to be used. Yellow Wolf, he's going quite low. Lion, he's doing everything he can. Quinobi on the backside. Divine Rapier has been dropped. Gyrocopter is on the ground, and that's probably gonna be Swag taking this one. I don't really see what they can do. Invoker, he's going to TP back in, but is that enough? Probably not. Gem of Truth Sight, he's on the ground. Wasted. He's trying to do as much damage as he can. Yellow Wolf, he's going to get smacked by that meatball. And Wasted, he's going to be turned invisible. Gem is still on the ground, but they could go back into the base. The base is going down. The racks have gone down. And it's only the bottom tier 3 still available for the Radiant. And all they have to do is TP to those creeps. Let's see if they decide to do it. Storm Spirit wants to get back to the base to get his mana. Do they realize that the buybacks are down? Do they realize they can just go back to their base? I don't know. They're going to go to the top lane. Never so. He's going to join Storm Spirit. And Storm Spirit, he's going to go right in. He's going to go onto Valkyrie. And Valkyrie, the Nyx, the Nyx is down. The Divine Rapier is on the ground. And Never so. He's just going to go right onto those towers. And they need to take these towers down. Another... 43 seconds on the gyrocopter. This can be... Oh, and it's a GG called Swag. They come back from the brink of death and they take this game. It's going to be 1-0 Swag. And that's going to be them taking the series. Wow. What a game. Taken by Swag. And, you know, they just had to defend their base so many times. And you didn't think they could do it. But in the end, they take out RG and they take the game. You know, at times, it was just Relentless Gaming. It was their inability to really have the coordinated team fights around the base and in the end taking it way too late that's what killed them so swag take this one in the hour and 14 minutes that 74 minute game and wow that's all you can say what a game what a players and um just mad respect to both teams for making it through that one i'm pythian thanks to both of our teams and join us next time for the ladder We'll be back uh, to you, hopefully, with some more interesting matches. For now, cheers.